Let's calculate volume. So the big idea here is that you can calculate the volume of a rectangular prism using multiplication. And the words that I'd like you to pay attention to are going to be cubic units and, of course, volume. So you already know that you can calculate the volume of a rectangular prism by counting the number of units, of square units. Sorry about that. And you can also calculate the volume of a rectangular prism using a volume formula. And the formula for volume is volume equals length times width times height. And we're going to show how that works in just a second. So the formula is having you multiply the area of the base um, by the height. So you're going to find the length, width, and height of each rectangular prism and then calculate the volume. So let's look along this side. So we have four units there. And if we look this way, we also have four units this way. So we'll say that's the length and width are four. And then the height, it's only one block high. So our volume is going to be the area of the base, which is right here, the four times four, that, because the base is a square shape. So four times four times that height, which is one. So four times four is 16 times one. And our volume is going to be 16 units cubed or 16 cubic units. Let's move over to this next one. The length is three. The width is two and the height is three. So let me go ahead and write those in. Three, two, three. So the volume is the length times the width times the height. Three times two is six times three is 18 units cubed, 18 cubic units. So before you were just counting the number of blocks. Here you're actually using the formula. So when you have a figure that does not have the blocks labeled like this, you'll still be able to calculate the volume. So let's come down here. This one is four units long. And we'll write this in now. It is three units wide. And it is three units tall. So our volume is four times three times three. Four times three is 12 times three is 36. So it's 36 cubic units. All right, last one over here. We have four blocks long as the length, so four. Our width is also four. And the height is five. So you can see, and no matter the dimensions, you follow the same steps. So our volume is four times four times five. And let's say that you are more comfortable multiplying with five first because you know your fives facts really well. That's totally fine. You can multiply this first. So you'd have four times five is 20 times four and you get 80 cubic units. And remember the reason you can do that is because of the commutative property of multiplication that says order does not matter when you're multiplying. So let's look at some practice down here. So this one, number one, we have three, three, and four. So three times three is nine times four is 36. And this time they actually tell us the units, it's feet. So we're gonna say 36 cubic feet. Here we have a volume, I'm sorry, um, length and width of two and four. Two times four is eight times this other four is 32 cubic inches. 
volume over here. I'm going to write up here because there's not as much space on the line. So we'll do 11 times 12 times 5. So you might feel more comfortable, once again, multiplying with the 5 first because you know 12 times 5 is 60, and that's okay. So we can say then 11 times 60 is 660 cubic centimeters. So we'll do two more examples here. So this volume, you have 4 times 5 times 1. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 1 is 20. So this volume is 20 cubic yards. This figure, 20 times 9 times 11. And again, the order in which you multiply doesn't matter. So we're going to do this first because it's 180 times 11. And you will get... 1,980 cubic millimeters. And I'll work this out over here for you real quickly because it's just a quick reminder of three digit times two digit multiplication. So our one multiplied by zero is one, one times eight is zero, eight, one times one is one, put a placeholder, and then you have the same numbers coming across. And you add up, and that's how you got the 1,980. Now this last one is a cube. So as you know with a square, every side is the same. Same with a cube. So we can write in these missing dimensions here. And then you will do six times six times six. So six times six is 36. And 36 times six is 216 cubic feet. So I hope this was helpful if you need um, any help with this again, go ahead. Remember, remember this is a video, so you can rewind back and look. You can pause. You can type down questions write, or write out questions for your teacher. And best of luck with this.